we want to talk about today is indexing. Now, when you're creating your tables, your tables start out with a very few records, and indexing probably doesn't matter a whole bunch. But as your records get more and more data in them, the data is going to be put in there based on the time that they get put in. They're going to not be put in necessarily in an indexed order. They're going to put, be put in in a logical order. Let's say that you want to alphabetize the last names, and it's a last names of an author table or some table such as that. Um, eventually, you're going to have books that have a lot of different authors, and nobody will have put them in starting with the A's and making sure that the next one is the next one alphabetically in line. But you want to retrieve that data as quickly and easily as possible. And that's when, instead of just indexing your primary key, which will pretty much happen automatically, your primary, your other indexes need to be on the fields that you want to recall quickly. So what I want to do is show you the effectiveness of putting an index on your tables so that you can get a visual aspect of what, what benefit uh, is found. So, here I have a table. This table is indexed. This one has 354,984 records. I have another table with the same data set that is not indexed. Now, in the not indexed version, if we put this one in design view, so we can see what we do here. If we put it in design view, you notice down here it says indexed. No. Okay, that's the very, very simple way to set it, but this field here is, is not indexed, okay? And for illustration purposes, we don't have a primary key or anything like this. We want to just show you how effective indexes are for putting together reports and retrieving data. So I'm going to put this one back in, in uh, data sheet view. And the next one I want to show you here is this table and put it in design view. And if we open it up, we can see that down here, it says indexed, yes, duplicates okay. Now, sometimes you want duplicates to not be okay, such as if your record that you're putting, records that you're putting together in that field need to be your primary key, for example. Um, you don't want duplicates in your primary key. In fact, that doesn't, uh, doesn't work. So you can set this to be duplicates no duplicates, okay? So this one says duplicates, okay, and we do have some duplicates in here. The difference between these two tables when I look up a word is pretty dramatic. If we look at this little applet that I created here, um, if I run it with the word marathon, on the left-hand side, it searched for that word 10 different times and found it 20 to 30 milliseconds later. When it was not indexed, in other words, I was searching this table and, and started it, checked the time, and then waited till it got done and checked the time, it would take an average of about 300, 300 to 340, 350 milliseconds. I see one entry for 350. So the amount of time returned is significantly different than the amount of time it takes when it's indexed. So this is the kind of thing that you want to watch out for in your databases. As they grow, you want to optimize the indexes on the fields that are important for your data retrieval in your forms and in your reports. And by doing so, your application will just work a lot better. So please help me to grow the channel and hit the subscribe button, especially if you find this useful. And we'll look forward to seeing you again later. Thanks.